Ever since the announcement of the PS5, there's been hype around the customization of the console. A company had their sights set on commercializing this idea before the console even launched, dropping news that they were going to release a variety of custom faceplates. But soon after this, Sony made headlines by launching legal action to shut down the sale of custom faceplates for the PS5, claiming copyright infringement. But now, two months after the console's release, custom faceplates for the PS5 are here for anyone to pick up. And today, we're going to check them out together. Before we begin, I want to give a quick shout out to the winners of the PS5 accessory giveaway. Two comments from the video were selected randomly, and the winners are Moist Finger and Purple Elf99. Congrats on taking the win for the accessories. Get in touch on Instagram or Twitter, and I'll get those sent over to you. Thank you to everyone else who got involved, and don't worry, there'll be another giveaway in this video for the custom faceplates that we're about to check out. To enter, simply subscribe, like this video, and drop a comment below with the faceplate that you like the most. More on this later. A quick thank you to Ozplay Accessories for sending out these faceplates for review. This company has been working hard to get high quality faceplates developed. There's already some cheap knockoffs popping up online, so we'll take a look for ourselves how good the build quality actually is. Okay, without further ado, let's get these faceplates unboxed. First thing to note is that this is pre-release packaging, and the consumer packaging that you'd get if you ordered this will look different. In this package we have the matte black faceplate. The first thing I'm noticing is that the build quality feels premium for what it is. It is made of plastic and honestly it feels identical in the hand to the OEM white faceplates. As you can see, it has all of the same mounting hooks on the rear of the faceplate to connect up to the PS5. The faceplates are available in a few different colours, one of those being red, which I'll also be checking out. I'm excited to try attaching these faceplates to the PS5 and see how they look, but first there's another package I was sent that I want to open up. What we have here are faceplates for the PS5 controllers which come in a few different colours. It looks like I've been sent green, red and golden. You may have seen another video on this channel where I customised the DualSense controller with Plasti Dip, But the thing with that was that it was a very complicated process to tear down the controller. A lot of people commented saying they weren't confident enough to do that, so these faceplates are a much easier way to customise the look of your DualSense. Each of the DualSense faceplates comes with a guitar pick style trim removal tool to help with the install. We'll give those a try in just a second and see how easy they are to swap out. But first, let's get back to the PS5 itself and swap out to these new custom black faceplates. I'm sure everyone is familiar with the process of removing the PS5 faceplates by lifting the upper end of the panel and sliding it down. Because the custom faceplate is almost an exact replica of the OEM faceplate, it should click into place easily. The same process applies for the plate on the other side. As you can see, the install process is very simple, and 60 seconds later, we're done. Now that the custom faceplates are installed, I gotta say I'm really impressed with the build quality of the product. It looks way cleaner than my customization attempt which I made with Plasti Dip, and honestly I think this is how the PS5 should have looked. But anyway, don't trust what I say, take a look for yourself. As I mentioned, 
mentioned earlier, the red version of the faceplate is also going to be arriving soon, but hasn't arrived yet. But if you prefer red over black, the red option will also be included in the giveaway. Now for the PS5 controller faceplates, I'll grab the DualSense controller and let's take a quick look at how those are installed. If you've seen my DualSense customization video, you'll know how easy it is to remove the black trim from the controller. I'll use the trim tool which is included with the controller faceplates, and the trim easily pops out from either end of the controller. From there, it's just a matter of lifting the black trim upward and over the control sticks and it lifts right out. To install the controller faceplates, they just insert in alongside the touchpad and the rest clicks into place. The controller faceplates are a quick and easy way to add your own style to the PS5 controller. They add some contrast to the control sticks and PlayStation button, which didn't really stand out against the OEM black color. Currently, the red and blue colors can be matched up with the red or blue PS5 faceplates which are available. Ozplay is working on bringing more color options to the market, so I'm excited to see those drop in the future. If you want to check out any of the faceplates in this video, I've dropped a link in the description below. If you do want to pick one up, Ozplay is offering a 10% discount to anyone watching, so use the code the next upgrade at the checkout if you want to take advantage of that. As I mentioned, I'll be giving away 4 faceplates from this video to 2 of you who are watching, and this will include the red colour which will be dropping soon. If you want to enter the draw, subscribe, like this video, and comment which faceplate you like the most. That's going to wrap it up for this video. If you like what you saw, feel free to check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you at the next one.